First thing we're going to do is get the car up in the air, and since we need the rear of the car in the air, uh, I found it kind of easier to lift from here. So I just have the jack under here, and I'm going to lift it right in front of the subframe connector so that I'm not pinching anything. And once I get the back end of the car up in the air, then I'll put the jack under there and then go around the other side and just make sure that we have it secured on jack stands in the rear. All right, so as you can see, I've lifted up with the jack, and now I'm just going to support it with this jack stand. I'm going to put it right on that uh, box back here. So then I just came around the other side and lifted up on the front as well just to get this back part in the air. So then now, as you see, we're going to have plenty of room to work here. All right, our next step is going to be to remove the rear differential cover. There's 10 bolts here and the best size that I found that works on those is the half inch. So here it is, it's just the fluid's just starting to come out and I did have to get you know a screwdriver in there and you will have to pry into it and kinda just kinda go into the cover a little bit and pry back but just you know just be careful not to pry too much that so you end up bending something more than it should but that's the point is you just want to kinda open up the bottom of it. I took out all the the bolts all the way around but uh, now the whole thing could potentially just come off so you want to be careful about that too but I'm just kind of prying up on the bottom of it to let the fluid out and the silicone is still holding the rest of it in place but once you get it pretty much out you can and you've uh, loosened it up all the way around maybe put the screwdriver in over here at the top the sides then give it a few light pounds with the hammer to move the whole thing to break it loose so you're not prying one spot on it. So here it is, I just uh, pulled up on, pried up kind of on the bottom of that cover until it was kind of coming out pretty good and eventually when most of the fluid was off, um, just kind of pulled the whole cover off by hand. So here we are in the inside of the gears. Um, got the traction lock and everything and now there's still fluid that's down here in the bottom. So I'm going to put a plastic bag over my hand and then I'm going to scoop the rest of that out as well. And I'm just letting it fall right here into my drain or drain pan. Then I have cardboard down after that too. This stuff uh, really smells pretty bad. Alright, so with a bag over my hand, I don't know how well you can see this. I'm just kind of scooping out the fluid that's left in there. I'm looking it over and I'm going to be looking for metal shavings or anything that's coming out, but so far so good. Okay, so we're just using a coat of Permatex instead of the paper gasket. We're just kind of going around in a circle here and making sure that it's we're going to do one bead so that the actual cover smashes it nice and flat for us. And we're going to go on thick. All right, we're just setting this cover down now. Hopefully everything's going to smash in just great for us. And I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on it. Smash it like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Looks like it's starting to come out good. So now we're torquing down the differential uh, cover bolts. And they said 20 to 25 foot pounds. So that's what I'm doing and I'm going in a kind of a star pattern. Make sure it's even. And something very important to remember if you have this kind of a girdle on your rear end, these are the load bolts. What these will do is you will tighten them down until they barely touch those main cap, uh, the bearing caps. You do not want to put too much pressure on these. It can cause damage to it. So you want to just tighten these down until they barely touch, then torque them to five foot pounds. Okay, so I'm, I'm tightening these bolts down. Okay, 
I'm going to torque them to five foot pounds. Yeah, that's not very much because you don't want to put too much pressure. Remember that these now have all the pressure of these bolts are helping push on those main caps. And I'm going to do them evenly. So with these ones just barely touching at five foot pounds, now there's these other jam nuts that go around them and that we're going to tighten to 20 foot pounds. Okay, as you can see, I have the car on the ground, and I'm just uh, topping off the fluid level here in the differential. And um, the way that you fill up a differential is you take out the fill plug, which is on the opposite side of this housing. It's back up here. And uh, you fill it up until it overflows. Now I have a Ford Racing girdle on here and it's pretty much the same process but this one comes with a fill plug and a drain plug and what you do is you take the fill plug off here and the fill plug around the back and you add fluid on this side until it starts coming out the back of the regular fill plug and that way you know you're at your full level uh, don't fill it up until it comes out of this uh, fill plug or you'll have too much fluid in there and you could potentially blow out one of the seals. But according to the instructions from Ford, that's the way they recommend it with this cover is to fill fluid from the fill plug here until it starts coming out of the fill plug, the factory fill plug on the other side.